welcome to The Shirley Show. Today we have many special guests with us today. Our first guest uh, left Hungary when she was 24 and has come, despite her parents' wishes, to become a very, very famous actress. You may know her from The Lady from Paris, The Son of the Sheik, or Bessie Ben Apokal. Please welcome Vilma Banky. Oh, that is swell. Now, uh, welcome to the show. A lot of people think that motion picture is is a waste of time, of energy. They, they don't really see it expanding. What are your views on this? Shirley, that is a load of baloney. In years, there will be more special effects and, and bigger audiences and more ideas and better film and sound and color, and more actresses, and me, Vilma Banki. That is interesting. Now, that, that is also my couch, so, um, do you mind having a seat? Thank you. Uh, tell me, tell me about the outfit you're wearing today, Vilma. It's, it's a little bit short, don't you think? Well, Shirley, this is called the style of the flapper. Everyone's wearing it, well, at least the younger generation of women. Isn't that interesting? They're breaking out of their shells from traditional old ways, out with old. the old and in with the new. Old, that's funny. And, you know, it's fun wearing these short skirts and these nice pearls and the flowers and yeah. feathers in your hair. A lot hair. of people think it's very risque. In fact, too risque. It's been called out of mm. movies and people have been harassed out on the streets for wearing outfits like yours. Well, Shirley, a lot of the older people don't appreciate it Back because to older people. they think it's just not women's place to look like this, but I personally say that it's fun and why not? So you say it's more of a feminism thing. It's, you know, a women's outrage you know after the 19th Amendment. Be proud. Well, we have a differing view of that from our doctor in the house, Dr. Sigmund Freud. Where are you, doctor? Oh. Dr. Freud, what do you think about about um, Miss Vilma's condition? What? How do you feel about her outfit? Well, I'd say that Shirley, that she's uh, repressing her sexual thoughts in her in her outfit by the way she dresses with the with the boa and the the hair and her and her her short skirts. And the polka dots on her, and the uh, the way she dances with the, and I'd say that she, uh, yes. Thank you, Doctor Freud. Now, uh, back to you, Vilma. What if, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind me asking, what denomination are you? Well, Shirley. I was undecided for a while. You know, I I was Christian growing up, but you know, I just I started to separate myself once I found my calling. And you know, I, I didn't Loose really term. follow religion for a while. And then I was, you know, driving in my Model T down the road one day, and I saw these billboards, which is strange because you know they're brand new, and it said "Come back to God," and it brought me back. It really did. And, and now I'm a modernist. Modernist. Modernism is taking this huge sweep of America. You know, I mean, people all around are just going for it because it's incorporating this new idea of women's rights, of consumerism. I mean, is that is that why you were brought in because of these aspects? Yes, I was I was so happy to see my face on the silver screen once I saw that too bad. Do not do that. So, I was so happy I can, and I, and I, I can realized tell. I realize that this is where I belong. It's just so great doing the ads. You get all the perks. All these new technological advancements go right to me. With my with my money making, I can just purchase all these, like my Model T car. And oh, I got this new invention. It's called the radio. Oh, really? What's what that? Do you want to listen to it? Yeah. Button up your overcoat <laughs> when the wind is free. Oh, oh that yeah. how? And you that was like a whole fan coming. 
coming out of there. That was wow. It's, it makes wow. it very easy to communicate with others. You know, you know, some people they turn on the radios and you can you know communicate with other people, mm -hmm. and it's so it's awesome. Wow. That yeah. Is, that is very interesting. Um, now I understand that you are a huge fan of jazz. I love jazz. Do you want to see my new dance? I, it's so I, great. I, I apparently love to. It goes like this, Shirley. Thank you. You are so welcome. Uh, if now, <clears throat> let's talk about communism. I understand that you are familiar with communism, correct? It's bad, Shirley, it's bad. The Red Scare was just horrifying to all of us. I mean, to think that there could be communists among us with their differing beliefs. I, are you a communist? Shirley, how could you ask such a, of course, no. Oh, I it was, I'm, I'm very sorry. So let's talk about communism. I mean, communism is the social manifesto of all these dignitaries who suppress their inner will and just use these huge words that they don't even know about. And, and suffice to say that it is with all of these mofo jumbo in colossal terms that we are in. Isn't that right? Shirley, did you know that my favorite sport is golf? I did not know that. Well, now you do. And that's all the time we have, folks. We'll be back after this break. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Vilma Banki, and I was just driving my new Model T. Don't you want one? Chugga 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 Woo woo! Hi, I'm Vilma Banki, and I'm not in this movie, but come see it anyways. The Great Train Escape, coming to theaters near you. Hello, welcome back to The Shirley Show. We'd like to welcome our next guest, Attorney General Alexander Mitchell Palmer. Welcome, Attorney. great that you can be with us today. Yes. I'm sorry about the feathers. Our last guest mm. tended to molt. Yes. I, I, That's fine. This, this is really awkward. I'm... Wow. Uh, well, what was your last guest? Vilma Banky. Oh, I love her. I love her. I love her movie, Nish Blinet. It's my favorite one. Everybody does. Yes. Everybody. It was a good one. I cried. I laughed. Well, Mr. Palmer, we are here to talk about communism, because I hear that you are... I hate communism. ...fervently against communism. Communism tried to kill me. Twice. Don't you mean communists tried to kill me? No. The whole thing just... The wave of came. communism. Yes. Yes. I understand. How do Go you went across like... Europe, and now it's here. How do you feel Watch about... out. How do you feel about the Red Scare? I think it's very frightening. Quite scary, I'd say. I'd say. You don't have to trust anymore, you know? You don't. I mean, it's like... Because... How I many mean, states do we have? We have 48 states. Yes, continue. Let's get back to communism. Yes. Because the Red Scare, I feel, even though it has separated us in terms of we don't know who to trust, it's almost united us, you know? It's united yes. us Americans in... Almost a negative way. It's united us no, against foreigners. Communism is bad. But it's united us against foreigners. Communists mailed me a bomb. Communists I... tried to bomb my house. But foreigners is what we're discussing now. We're oh. not discussing communism. Foreigners. You know, we, we're uniting against foreigners, not communists per se. So, how do you feel about immigration? The new immigration law. The immigration I have here in my notes on the law. Well, which read I us your brought. notes. Share your notes with us. The Immigration Act of 1924 reduced the rates of immigration from 3% to 2%. Thank God. The numbers, those numbers from 1910 to 1840, I don't know, I have that written down. I can't remember I, what that means. That is. 
very interesting. But I would like to know, how does that affect us Americans? I'll tell you how it affects us. You, you see someone walking down the street, and you don't know what nationality they are. You say, hey, what are you? And they start speaking in Chinese or Italian. And, and then you go, hey, I can understand you. This is America. We speak English, and we are American. We are a new breed of man. But shouldn't we, we be are accepting Ameri of all cultures? No. We're all immigrants. No. We're all immigrants. If we go to France, then we're immigrants. But no, we're living in America. But everybody in America is not born here. We just come here from somewhere else. You know what they say. There's no such thing as a Native you know American. What they say. Even the Native you Americans know what they weren't say. Native. What you do know they what say? They say? Tell me what they said. They say, we are America. And we speak English. And this has been Hot Seat with Shirley Jones. Hi, I'm Velma Banke. Do you ever get tired of washing the dishes? Well, now you don't have to. Dixie has invented these new disposable cups. Just throw away after one use, or however many you want, depending on how much liquid you want to drink. Fill me up, Jack. Thanks. All done. I just threw it away. Buy one. Buongiorno. That means good evening, my fellow Americans, in Chinese. My name is Alexander Mitchell Palmer, your U.S. Attorney General. I'm here to give you an educational transmission through your television set about communism. Communism is bad. Your neighbors are communist. Your mothers are communist. Don't dare not turn them in. We'll find you and we'll find them. Everybody that's communist deserves to burn. That's all I have to say. Hi, I'm Bill Mabanki, and I agree with Mr. Palmer. Hello, welcome back again with The Shirley Show. We have our final guest coming out. She is the famous Alice Paul, known for women's movements across the nation. And here she is, here she comes. Thank you for joining us. Once again, I apologize for the feathers. Where did these originate? Well, we had that um, Thelma Banky girl <gasps> on our show. In this very chair? I am. You don't know how sorry I am. Very well. How do you, Alice, expect to influence, you know, the women? How, what's your opinion? If we're not going to go the scandalous route, how should we instead? I feel that God must manifest himself and his teachings into our young women, such as you in your dress and your attire. Uh, I love that women are becoming more of an equal, such as with the 19th Amendment, and we may vote. So, tell me, how do you feel about advertising and religion? Because, you know, a lot of the advertising is drawing in these new religious folk who haven't been there before. You it know? is shameful. They are not religious folk. They think they are religious folk. But religion is from God, not from Model Ts that is, or music. That is, that is an interesting point. Mm -hmm. um, I... Wow, that, that's really powerful. It is so true. Uh, let's move on. No, I just find it interesting that we're in such a booming economic time, such a booming technological time, and yet we have this scandalous slice of America. You know, it's, the it's flappers. puzzling to me. Flapper? Flapper. Oh, I will never express my opinion on television, but oh, those flappers. Television? Have you seen, um, hmm, what is her name? Oh, the God. One. Vilma. Yes. Vilma. Blank. Banky. Now, I must hand it to the girl. She has some talent with drama, but but her her attire... Oh, her, her attire. Oh, uh, you, I will not voice my opinion on that, but it's terrible. Shameful. Her attire is disturbing. Disturbing me, to say It the disgraces the female race. <sighs> I don't even, I don't even think she reads. Do you, you must read. What are, what's your literature uh, these days? What are you getting into? Personally... I am right now reading The Great Gatsby. Oh, I read that. I love that yes, book. Yes. It's oh, positively I'm lovely intrigued story. by the character development and such. Mm -hmm. And I feel that it's got a real the girls, to it. the flappers, could pull from literature the sophistication 
and the moral and self-respect that they should have for themselves. It's great. It's been wonderful talking with you, Miss Alice Paul. And we will give you a great round of applause. And now we must go. We must leave for our commercial break. Have a great night, everybody. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself, you belong to me. Eat an apple every day, get to bed by three. Take good care of yourself, you belong to me. Be careful crossing streets. Would you like to see a sample of my acting? Wouldn't I? I just bet you would. Roll the clip, Phil.